In this video, let's see the beautiful math behind Kanati Pusik. We have 72 Melakarta Ragas. You might have heard about it. We call it a Sampurna Raga or Janaka Raga. How this number 72 came? Basically, we have seven Swaras, right? What are those? Hmm. And if you see here, it follows an order. Ri is higher than Sa, Ga is higher than Ri, Ma is higher than Ga and so on. So we are going to arrange this in order by following certain rules. Let's see that. Venkata Mahim is one among the many musicians who framed the 72 Melakarta Ragas. Now if you see here, I left Sa and Pa fixed and Ri, Ga, Ma, Dha, Ni are in blanks. We have only one Sa and one Pa. So I am fixing it. And if you see Ri, we have three Ri's. Ri 1, Ri 2, Ri 3. Next place Ga, we have three Ga's. Ga 1, Ga 2, Ga 3. And Ma, we have only Ma 1 and Ma 2. Only two Ma. And Coming to the place of the, similar to ri and ga. We have three da and we have three ni. So by fixing s, that is sa and pa, in how many ways we can arrange this? Do we have any set of rules? Yes, we do have rules. And one more question is, does it follow permutation or combination? Think about it. Now I will tell the rules. First thing is it should contain all nodes. That is, I should not leave anything blank here. I should fill these blanks. And the second one, it should be in order. That is, after sa, a re only should come. It can be re1, re2, re3. But after sa, re only should come. And then after re, ga should come. It should follow the order. And arohana means whatever order it is coming, it should be in ascending order. And Avrohna is just the reverse of it. So, uh, don't worry about Avrohna now. So, and uh, we are not supposed to leave anything in between. Like from Sa to Ga. So, it is an ascending order. So, uh, can I skip Ri? No. Sampurna Raga means everything should be there. And the next rule is Ri2 and Ga1 are same. Ri3 and Ga2 are same. Similarly, Da2 and Ni1 are same. Da3 and Ni2 are same. You'll be wondering if they are same, why do we have this? If I explain this, I'll be going too much into the music. So let's see only the math part. Can we use permutation or combination? <laughs> Don't cry. In permutations, we care about the order of the elements. So here, order is very important. For example, if they ask you to um, uh, arrange the letters A, B, C, in how many ways we can arrange it? If there are no rules at all then a b c a c b uh, b a c b c a c a b and c b a right uh, that is three letters can be arranged in three factorial ways now coming back to uh, our problem uh, here uh, leaving re and ga i'm fixing ma one and ma two because we have only two mass right so either i'll be having ma one or ma two so we can arrange ma in two ways. Now, if I fix ri and ga, it is same as dha and ni. Um, in how many ways we can arrange ri and ga? We have ri1, ri2, ri3, ga1, ga2, ga3. And if you notice, already I mentioned that ga1 and ri2 are same. That's why I have given the same color. Similarly, ga2 and ri3 are same. If I take ri1, Re is a smaller note and ga is higher than that. So re1 combination we are going to see. So re1 ga1 possible. Re1 ga2 possible. Re1 ga3 possible. So if I take re1, there are three ways to write re and ga. Now, if I take re2, re2 ga1 is not possible because they both are in same tone. It should be in order, right? So, re2 higher than that is ga2. 
re to ga to possible re to ga three possible and finally if i take re three if you see ga one is lesser than re three so i will not take it re three ga one combination not possible because it should be in ascending order these two are same note not possible so if i get re three only re three ga three is a correct combination so with re one we have three ways re one ga one re one ga two or re one ga three with re two we have two ways and with re three we have only one way so either i'll be having re one or re two or re three so re and ga can be arranged in six ways so far we have seen m can be arranged in two ways re and ga can be arranged in six ways similarly da and ni can be arranged in six ways so we can arrange in 2 into 6 into 6 that is 72 ways according to the given conditions they have given the rules and in case if they simply ask us to arrange without any rules how many ways we can arrange it think about it finally we got the secret behind the number 72 and you can see the diagram it contains all the 72 ragas suddha madhyama is nothing but ma1 that is our m1 and prati madhyama is ma2 so with ma1 combination we have these 36 and with ma2 combination another 36 and for example uh, a raga which has a subset of swaras from a melakarta raga we call it as janya raga it means born or derived from melakarta so melakarta raga is a superset and the one that is derived from that is we call it a subset for example if you see the mohanam uh, raga i think the first varnam is mohanam right so if you see the notation sari ga pa da sa if you see re to ga tri da to etc so avrohna is right same reverse sa da pa ga ri sa we have written it in reverse order that's it it is derived from the melakarta raga hari kambuji i have written kari kambuji it's okay hari kambuji is here and if you see the notation sa ri to ga tri ma wan pa da to ni to sa if you see here ma ni is missing in the mohana raga so the beauty of this 72 melakarta is sampurna like all the notations all the swaras will be there so from these melakarta raga so many um, what do you call it as um, janya ragas are derived from it thank you